Hi guys, it's Peanut. Welcome back to my channel. I am back. Long way overdue. My cheeks are super shiny from the light. Um, it's not oily, trust me. <laughs> it just has a natural sheen. <laughs> but uh, I've been long overdue for a video. I know if you follow me on Instagram, if you, um, you know that my life has been chaotic. I have three kids. And on top of being a teacher to my son now and um, my three kids, reselling kind of took a back burner so that I can just concentrate on what matters the most, which is always going to be my family. So enough said, if you're new, I am a reseller on, uh, I usually would say Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari, but now I am doing a lot of apps. Um, I'm kind of broadening my horizon, I guess, and it's kind of been pretty successful. So, um, I've been thrifting a lot. I haven't filmed any videos up until now, just because I figured, why not? Um, my babies are, well, two of them are sleeping over at my sister's house, and then the baby is watching Moana and dancing over there like this. <laughs> so, um... I'm hoping it stays quiet for a bit. You might hear him scream. You might not. Who knows? But let's just get this haul started. I went to the Goodwill outlet, which is where I primarily source inventory. And it's pay by the pound. Um, I think it's $149 over 25 pounds. I can't be sure. But I did... Um, buy a lot i will insert a card picture if you don't follow me on instagram make sure you do i am doing a guess the total weight of my cart and you get a free medium priority box inventory mystery box um, if you guess the correct one or get close enough to it the rules are on my instagram and the link is down below if you're interested and it's only open i think until friday 2020. I I am so out of dates right now. <laughs> I have no idea what date is what. So, um, yeah, definitely make sure you check my Instagram below. But let's get this haul started. So, I will show you a little bit of what I got. I probably won't be able to show you everything. Otherwise, the haul is going to be super long. But I'll show you what I have hanged up um, and what I have in, in I, um, a couple of ikea bags so first off is the zara knit cardigan and i am starting to source kids clothes now prior before i wasn't really actively searching but i am starting to source kids clothes based on style and brand so i won't pick up like target or walmart um but i'll pick up like zara jake crew cuts or bold mini bonin uh, something along that where it's kind of worth more of my money to um, invest a little bit into it so this is a really cute cardigan and i am listing on kidizen which is a kids selling kids clothing selling app so that's why i'm kind of sourcing kids clothes now um this is a super cute sweater from carter's I'm just going to grab a couple, otherwise you're going to constantly just be seeing me back and forth. This is another Zara Knit Youth Kids Sweater. This fun floral pashmina scarf. And yeah, it's 100% pashmina. I love selling pashmina scarf and sourcing them. They're so cute. Um, this is a Genuine Kids Romper. And I actually found a lot of Athleta Girl and Crew Cut clothes, but they were size 7 and 8, which is the exact size of my niece, my baby niece. Um, and she is tiny, and it's always hard to find clothes for her. So whenever I go sourcing, I always keep an eye out for her, um, just clothes for her, because I know it's hard to find clothes for her. So I gave them all to her, and she loved it all. Um, next is this Gap, Baby Gap. That's not, it's that's just dust. <laughs> but here's that really cute. And then next is this simple Nike tink. Now I am changing the way I source and list um, and where I send my items. So I will go in more details in, in future videos of what I'm planning to do, what I plan to do for my business. But, um, 
yeah for now i'm just showing you a haul so <laughs> this this is actually from my personal closet uh it's not a haul but i just hung it up so here is a awesome scarf and these are um these are actually not thrifted but i did a lot of work last night i don't know what i did exactly but I am combining clothes that I got for free. So this is free inventory uh, from my son's aunt. Um, but yeah, this is free clothes. It's both the same size. So I'm just going to bundle it up. Uh, this is free inventory. This is Moth Anthropology. It's actually my sister who sourced this. She also resells part-time. So she might want this back. <laughs> but we'll see. Next is this Iron Maiden 2005 t-shirt. Um, and I was doing some research on this brand, on Iron Maiden. And this print is, it does okay. It's not like um, the most expensive print. But um, it has a hole in the back of it. I don't know if you can see it. There it goes. It has a hole in the back. But what I'm planning to do is DIY it. I'm going to... Put some since it's already cut because this was not original to the scoop is not original to the shirt of course so I plan to just distress it and then maybe bleach it I don't know yet but this is my DIY uh, t-shirt I do have a bundle of DIY stuff I have to do so that is part of my DIY next is this this is Lululemon. <laughs> I didn't look at it. This is Lululemon. Um, and I found this at the outlet, of course. Yeah, of course, this is all from the outlet. Or most of it, I guess. Um, but I found this based on texture. Um, Lululemon has a unique texture. And you can fill it right away. And then if you look hard enough, you'll find their logo. So that. And this is a Tadashi Shoji. This is my first time finding this brand, so I was pre pretty excited. It is a vintage one, though. It's a vintage uh, Tadashi Shoji blouse in this fun, like, plum color. And I was checking comps for vintage. Um, they're not as high as their uh, current style, but I'm happy with it. Honestly, I, it was just I was just happy to find it. <laughs> Next is this... Eileen Fisher blouse. It does have a tiny stain that I think I can get off with treating, uh, just treat, uh, stain treating it. So it's, I'm not too concerned. I don't know if it's going to show. It's like a tiny stain right here. It's probably not going to show, but it is um, very simple to take care of. Next item is this Zara Basic. This fun color for the fall. It is missing the belt for the loop, but um, I'm I'm just going to include that in the details. Next is a free people sweater. It's like a, I forget what these, these kind of sweater stitch is called. It's not eyelash knit, but it's super fuzzy. <laughs> it's a shaggy fuzzy sweater from free people. Okay, next batch. I'm going to put this away so I can stack. This is why I like filming sitting down, but then you really don't get to see the item well when I'm sitting down. So I don't know. I don't know. I can just stack a bunch in front of me, and then I can just show you as we go. Next is the Anthropology Angel of the North sweater. It's a sweater tunic. Here it goes. And then a pin and needle, which is um, anthropology, a little crop top. Vine your vines. Now, I found a bin of vine your vines, and I know there was a lot of resellers there that was picking up bins prior to me. Even while I was searching for it, they were there before me. Um, but they really weren't picking up any vine your vines. I know it's hit and miss sometimes, but I feel like they do pay out. Um, they do pay out. It just sits longer in, the in my Poshmark closet. Next is this super cute BP sweater from Nordstrom. It's distressed and holy and everything. 
And I found this in a garbage bag <laughs> that no one digged through, so I was pretty excited about that. Um, this one is super cute. It is a vintage Walt Disney World Resort Minnie Mouse single stitch t-shirt in excellent, excellent, like, used condition. I would even say it's like new. There's like no stains on this shirt. Uh, I was checking comps on this and they're selling for this exact same shirt for the exact same size sold for $45. So I was excited to find that. Uh, next this is Brooks Brothers tweed jacket. It does have a tiny stain on it on the corn right here. You can see it. I'm going to uh, stain treat it and I think it should come off because it's not like very deep. I think it just needs a little uh, scrubbing. Oh, he found the guitar. Next is this Revolt overall. Short overall. Um, and I know it's short season's almost done. Well, in Minnesota, it's completely over. <laughs> but um, I still source it because you never know when people are going to buy off-season items. This is a Lucky Brand Thermal. It's just basic, but I like picking up Lucky Brand. They do tend to uh, flip really quick. And I bang your vines t-shirt from a man. One little pink purple print and this is adorable this when I searched this it made me cry a little <laughs> that I will never have a baby girl because Carla and I are officially done with kids we have three boys um, and we're done <laughs> so I was a little sad when I saw this because I really wanted a baby girl but that wasn't in the uh, works and that's fine I have three amazing boys um, but this is from iPlay and it's a flamingo swimsuit and it has like a built in diaper. How cute is this? I just, I found a lot of cute baby clothes. <laughs> Next is Old Navy. It's a 18, 24 month safari um, dress. Athleta, I love picking up Athleta, and this is like I think the swim. This is a swimwear, um, 32 BC, and it has like a built-in swim top, and then it slouches like that. I love it. It's in perfect condition. This is a free people mock neck top. I swear I've sold this sweater before. Um. It is a little, lost its color a little, but it, it's still in perfect, like besides the color loss, it's still in very good condition. Um, so there's that. Okay. This is a Title IX dress. It's, it's very well used condition. Um, I love Title Nine. I love selling Title Nine. Like, it's the quickest active wear brand for me that sells, and like it just flips really quick. Usually within a week of me listing it, it's already sold. Um, I do have a couple of Title Nine stuff that I haven't listed, so I was excited to find this dress. And it's so pretty and geometrically. What you eating? <laughs> crackers good job okay um next is a we the free blouse i don't know is that a stain i didn't see anything but now that i'm looking at it in the camera it looks like there's a stain in the middle right here but i can't see it physically i might have to put this under light and then look at it Next is a Odelli blouse, and this is from Anthropology. Another Title IX sweater. This is Anthropology, the Evalensi. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Evalensi, I think. That's how you pronounce it. But it's a fun paisley jacket. There is one flaw. One of the buttons is broken like in half, but it's like 
it's not going to do any damage to the jacket, I feel like. Like, you can still button the other buttons up. Uh, besides that, the jacket's in really good condition. All right, next set of clothes. Okay. So this is um, Life is Good. I love picking up Life is Good. It's a bread and butter brand for me. Uh, it quick, quick flip generally, and it's roughly between $10 to $15 profit. This is a fun loft sweater. Um, I picked this up. I sourced it. I'm going to start sending things to ThreadUp. That's going to be a whole video itself, but I am starting to um, send things to ThreadUp. So I may, I searched this for ThreadUp. So that. I found this uh, Jimmy Johnson 3XL t-shirt, NASCAR t-shirt. And I'm not really good with NASCAR stuff, but uh, my husband likes watching NASCAR, and I know that it has a big following. Um, and I asked my brothers while I was there if Jimmy Johnson was good, and they said yes, he was. So I searched it because it's a huge size, and the graphic is huge. It's just all over. So that's that. Next item is a dress from the brand 614 never heard of it but it's a really cute basic black dress and then like it has like a sheer top the sun is starting to come in and ruin my lighting it's like seven something currently and and we're up because baby's up so <laughs> we've decided to film this um, this is a Harlow and Graham velvet blouse and it's perfect for the holiday season that's coming up I don't know if you're gonna celebrate the holidays with as a group with the world the way it is but you could still dress up and look cute next is a Toby blouse again velvet and um, perfect for the holidays Okay, so pink Victoria's Secret I used to source them all the time, but um, excuse the lighting. The sun's coming in now, and it's too late for me to restart filming this. So, um, but I used to source Pink Victoria's Secret all the time. Um, now I am a lot more pickier with the design and the model, and not model, but design and color and make. Um, but this is a crop top sweater with a lace on the side and hoodie. So I know this will sell very well, but I've gotten more pickier with Victoria's Se Pink Victoria's Secret items. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> he started walking to the bathroom and he loved Ben, the baby, one year old. He loves playing with the toilet, um, which we try not to let him play with. So I went and got him. He had a meltdown. I gave him an Oreo. I decided to see if I could fix the lighting, but this window that I'm currently facing doesn't have a window curtain so that's impossible so you're just gonna get this odd odd lighting for me so we'll just try to finish this as fast as possible um, lucky brand well it's just a basic one and this is a new brand to me Tracy Anderson I found two shirts at the same style um, and I checked the comps they're kind of everywhere but um, it's a really cute shirt, so <laughs> picked it up. This is a new brand to me. It's vintage. It is B E R E K, B E R E K, and look at it. <laughs> if you know me, I love sequins. I love beads, and this just had to come home with me. And it's in really good condition for being vintage. So, uh, source that. Next is a Zara Men um, cardigan, and I am going to send this to Thread Up. I feel like Zara does way better on Thread Up than on Poshmark for me, at least. I don't really get high paying dollar for Zara items, so um, that's going on Zara, on Thread Up. New brand to me, uh, Mint Velvet. It is cashmere blonde. It is so soft, and. Um, 
asymmetrical but it's so soft and I was doing comp checks on it and I couldn't find anything but I, I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research with this one because I feel like this is something um, this cute blouse is from Marina Luna and I picked it up more for style and color than anything Zella never could go wrong with Zella Hollister just a basic cowl tunic from Hollister another NASCAR shirt this is from this is Casey Kane um, again big size big prints no idea who the driver is I checked comps they're 20 to 30 dollars so I'm happy with that um, I don't know much about men's about NASCAR so <laughs> Okay, this one is a cute dress. I know there's a label somewhere. Oh, there it goes. Miss Daisy. And it's just a really cute dress. Vintage Jane um, Bass. I love the floral print. Uh, this is a brand I tend to always pick up because they have very cute plus size clothes. Almost. Oh, absolutely famous. This is a 2X and it's a floral blouse. Who is listening to music this early in the morning? Mr. Amazon guy, you need to put your volume down. It's too early for this. <laughs> Bang your vines, gingham shirt. Lacoste. Is it Lacoste? Or Lacoste. I feel like I, I add the E for, for nothing. I think it's Lacoste, but um, found that it's in really good use condition. All right, next in habit is a cashmere, 100% cashmere. I do have to do a little bit of cleaning on the arms, armpit area, but I checked the uh, comps. This is a really good brand. Contemplating if I want to send it to thread up um, or leave it on Poshmark. So haven't figured it out yet, but this is a really good brand. Next is a new brand to me, McLaughlin, Jane McLaughlin. Um, I picked it up based on quality because I didn't check the comps when I was there. I never check comps. I go based off on quality of the item. Um, but this is a Mc, Jane McLaughlin. I checked the comps when I came home. They're about roughly 30 to $40. It's a really pretty dress. So there's that. Oh no, I found a hole in the sweater. Shoot. It's a cashmere sweater too. Alan Payne. This is 100% cashmere. The comps are really good. Up until I found a hole in this shirt. And cashmere is like a, something you can't really, like, I don't know if you can see it. Here it goes. Cashmere is something that's hard for me to clean, uh, sew up or stitch back together and fix. So this will be on a maybe. <laughs> now this is a new brand to me, men brand to me, Bono Balls, Bono Balls, B-O-N-O-B-O-S, Bono Balls. But I found a um, bin of it. This was actually with the buying your, buying your vine stuff because I found a lot of men buying your vines. So I'm like, okay, so this guy has a lot of already expensive clothes. This brand has to be worth something. Sure enough, it is for like $25 to $30. So I have to pick all, I went through the bin, I grabbed everything. Um, this is Sherpa Adventure Gear. This is part of Title IX. Uh, it's their sub brand. And I checked comps for these Sherpa jackets and they're pretty good. So I, um, and it feels so soft. So I picked that up. Another Zara Gingham blau uh, Romper. Another, I, I don't have another, but there's another Zara item. <laughs> this is a new brand to me, debut. It is a maroon slouchy cardigan. I couldn't find any comps on this, but it feels very, very well made. Um, so I'm gonna have to check the comps on this because it feels like it's something, but I could be wrong. Might just be a good quality shirt. 
This is Love Vintage Soft Embroidered Blouse. And I'm going to go and send this to thread up as well. A vintage Dale Earnhardt NASCAR Kids Reversible Jacket. Now, uh, this guy, I know who he is. I actually was watching the race when he passed away. Um, what were we doing? I don't know. My dad was just watching the race. And at that time, we only had one TV. And... He was watching TV, so we we were all watching TV together. Um, but I know this person, this driver from NASCAR, and um, I checked the comps. They're kind of all over the board. This is pretty good condition. They do, it does have like um, some like flaws, like the zipper here is broken, um, but it's not like. You can still zip it, but the hand, the little, um, little tool thingy, the zipper handle is broken. So it's not anything dramatic that's going to show. Uh, next is Banana Republic New Take Dress. I am going to be sending my Banana Republic to Thread Up now, just because I feel like I'll get a little bit more money over there versus selling it on Poshmark. So that is going to thread up thread up another life is good and it's a little cute gingerbread man <laughs> that is adorable thml i love this brand because they have such cute prints and colors this is a dress and it's like perfect for the fall seasons i want to get this up as fast as i can and i will be putting this up on poshmark um but it's it's a really cute dress Next is a mini Bowden. This is like, I think, um, swimwear related because it feels like a towel. Like the fabric feels like a towel. So like the terry cloth. Um, but it's in very good condition. There's no stains on it. Next is a Vince. Ah, oh, what, what, what fabric are you? It feels, some, it feels like something. 100% cotton Vince. So, yeah, just a basic white blouse. Gap Fit. I love selling Gap Fit items. They, sound, they do sell pretty well for me. Wild Fox. I contemplated picking this up because I just have no luck with Wild Fox. Um, I've sold a couple, but they stay, they like stay in my closet for two months, and then I don't get the axing price that I want. Granted, I don't source them for very, uh, for very expensive, so uh, I'm fine with whatever income I get from it. But I picked this up because it's a sequin heart. Oh, it's not a reversible one, <laughs> but um, sequin heart. I think I might send this to thread up, but I'm not sure yet. It's Wild Fox white label. Next is a Bowden jacket. How cute is this? It is size six, but it looks tinier than a size. I'm, yeah, I don't know. This is tiny, but it is very still in um, excellent use condition. So there's that. This is just dust that needs to be lent off. Another loft blouse going to thread up. This is a new brand to me, Roly, Roly, R-O-O-L-E-E. -E. I think that's a boutique brand, um, but it's super cute. And it's perfect for the fall season, so I need to get this up and listed right away. BC, BG, Max, Azaria, Azaria, <laughs> no idea, I'm losing it. <laughs> But um, I'm going to start sourcing it just for thread up because I personally don't sell it very well on Poshmark and it is a high end brand, um, not, not high end, but medium, medium, medium high brand. <laughs> so um, I sourced it for thread up. This is a super cute lush military jacket. Uh, kind of contemplating if I should keep it for myself because I love it and it's an excellent use condition like I swear this person did not wear it at all but I'm kind of in love with it so I don't know if I want to keep it or not so if you don't see it in Poshmark I decided to keep it <laughs> um, next is a Mondetta 
and this brand is hit and miss like it's a it's a medium class activewear but I don't know I don't do very good with this brand for some reason but I still pick it up just because I know people are gonna buy it but I don't know I might have to sell it somewhere else besides Poshmark and this cute oats and cashmere 100% cashmere uh, sweater um, it does need a little bit of cleaning I don't know if you could tell there's a little fluff everywhere so I will take my sweater shaver to it just be gentle so I don't cut any holes into it I low-key kind of want this bells. It's Lucky Brand, and it's boho, and it's beaded, and it's embroidered, and it's just a very cute bells. So, I'm contemplating keeping it for myself. I know I shouldn't because I have a lot of clothes, but we'll see. <laughs> um, next is these two dresses from the brand Laura Ashley Mother and Child. Uh, they're different sizes, so this mother had two girls, because um, I think this is a size 9, and this is a, oh, size 9, size 6. Uh, but they're just super cute holiday dresses in very good condition. So, I was excited for that, because they're so cute. Okay, a C9 by Champion. I know that's Target brand, um, but I'm going to put this on Macari and Poshmark, because they... I still sell C9 by Champion, Target, Walmart. No, not really a lot of Walmart, but um, what other stores? Department store items. I pick it up based on style, and this is a red active wear, and it's a good size. It is a XXL. Where's that? This fun tropical dress. I kind of want to keep it. I need to stop keeping everything. This is a size small, so it's too small for me, so I can't keep it. <laughs> it's from the brand Ravia, R-A-B-I-Y-A. I picked it up based on style, and it's a really cute tropical dress. I know that season's almost over for at least Minnesota, but everywhere else, I hope you get to enjoy the warmer weather. Um, Universal Thread, which is Target. I love picking up their sweaters because even used sweater from Target sells pretty well for $15 to $20 um, based on style. And this one is a really cute one. It does have a string that ties around the waist um, and it's at the table. So <laughs> I have to grab that later and uh, tie it on. Okay, this is giving me YTK feeling which is on trend for 2020 on trend <laughs> on trend <laughs> for 2020 this is from bella dina it's a size small and it just has like this fun furry eyelash knit moment going on right here peyton jensen from Ivory. i love selling peyton jensen i feel like they do very well for me New brand to me, this is a Dreamily, I think this is a boutique brand, but it's a really cute v-neck sweater. Oh my god, Benny, you found more Oreos? Oh my gosh, you are a hot mess. He's going to make his way here and I will show him to you when he does. Um, Universal Thread sweater. A vintage champion sweater and this is the echo green I think no reverse weave reverse weave it's a fun pink large sweater Victoria's Secret um, crop top beach swimwear feel like you can wear it whatever you want to wear it And then this is a new brand to me. Oh, just dropping things. Talia, T A L I A. I couldn't find any comps on Poshmark, but I found some listings on eBay, and that's all over the board. So I picked it up for style. It's really cute, perfect for the fall. Okay, so that is it for the tops. We're gonna do the pants, which is easy because they're just right here, like right, right here. <laughs> so we'll just get. Try to go through this real quick a vintage skirt and it has a lace like a suede lace on the side 
Oh God, Ben, don't get don't get it on my clothes, please. This I um, felt based on quality, and I knew it was Lululemon or something. And sure enough, it was Lululemon. It's kind of hard. The logo's kind of hard to see. So I don't wear gloves when I source at the thrift store, just because I like feeling fabric, especially with Lululemon, because they're hard to figure out. Uh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> you are so dirty! You're so dirty! But you're so happy! Off you go! Alright, so I have to make this quick because I got a kid I need to clean. <laughs> Again, Bono Boss. It's from that haul um, bin, of, bin full of men's clothes. I'm going to pick this up real quick. Life is falling apart over here. Okay. This is a athletic dress. Skirt. This is a new brand to me. I picked it up based on style. Linda Allard, Ellen Tracy. It's a tropical skirt. I do have to fix the hem because I think, I don't know, this, it doesn't look like it was rehemmed, but it was hand, uh, the hem is hand stitched and it is a hot mess. So I have to fix that. Next is a find your vines. Short uh, night pro uh, tights. Uh, um, Zara woman. This is going to thread up. It's just a jean with a hole on it. Distressed. This is Kenya River Blues uh, vintage skirt. Maternity, motherhood, maternity pants. is a White House Black Market. I'm going to send this to thread up. Gap body. There's a basic legging. Like dust flying around because I'm like moving stuff around. American Eagle jeans. You can never go wrong with American Eagle. Uh, not your daughter jeans. I am going to start sending my your, not your daughter jeans to thread up. I feel like on Poshmark they sit too long for me and I like things to move out quick. So um, that's going to thread up. White House Black Market. To those kids' skirt. A Goldie. This is my first time finding this brand. A Goldie. And it's a cute dress, distress. <laughs> what was I going to say? I don't even know no more. A Goldie distressed jean. Um, comps are kind of everywhere. I don't know if they want to keep it on Poshmark or send it to Threads Up. I'm trying to send my higher end stuff to Thread Up just because I feel like Thread Up has a bigger customer base. And, um, you know, they're known for having higher, high quality clothes and higher ends for cheap price. So I'm hoping, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't figured out what I'm going to officially send yet. Alright, Vine Your Vines. A very, very cute patchwork skirt. It's like stars and fish on it. Okay, this is Vine Your Vines. A swim trunk. And this is, again, Bonnables. Swim trunk. I guess you can use it as a golf. It looks, I think it's actually for golf, but I'm gonna go with it. A black label Ralph Lauren. Where is it? Ralph Lauren. Black label Ralph Lauren. Pajama with bottom. Now, I wasn't able to find the top, which I'm a little bummed about, but I picked it up still because of the brand and that it's black label Ralph Lauren. So I'm hoping that someone has a top somewhere for this or if they just want to wear it as a, you know, as a separate. That's still cute. Okay. Express. I love selling Express jeans. Uh, Pucker of the Letter Press Anthropology Shorts. And articles of Society. I love selling Articles of Society on Poshmark. Um, they're just jeans with raw hems. 
almost done almost done liverpool i love selling liverpool um and it has this fun embroidery on the side citizens of humanity a corduroy um, pants made well i like I haven't gone, I've gone so long not finding any Madewell jeans and then like in two sourcing trip I found two Madewell jeans. So I feel like that's a win for me. <laughs> but these are Madewell jeans. And then last but not least is these Abercrombie, uh, not Abercrombie, American Eagle jeans. Yeah. So that is part, some of the items of this haul. The video is getting really long so I'm not going to show the rest of the items but I hope you enjoy this video I am happy to be back I, ho I hope you are happy I'm back and um, make sure you like and subscribe if you're brand new and I'm going to go take care of this kid who's having a meltdown so I shall see you on my next video bye bye